it's here. How excited are you? If you're anywhere near as excited as me, then whew, this video is going to be immensely enjoyable. Let's crack on, shall we? This is good tape. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a new car. I think I'll put these down before I stab myself. <laughs> oh, it's a bit heavy. Oh man, that gig bag is sick. Ah, look at that. So first things first, all of Nick's guitars come with these Reunion Blues um, gig bags. And they are super, super high quality. And they look cool as well. Hopefully I'll be able to gig soon eh, and use it. Man, that's really nice. Anyway, let's have a look at this thing, shall we? I think I'm just going to open it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. And then I'll, I'll cut in some artistic shots afterwards. Look at that. It's so awesomely awesome. Oh, there's a strap in there as well. Thanks, Nick. Holy cow, real vintage 70s. Ibiza Brown, made in Holland. Ibiza's one of my favourite holiday destinations, actually. Mm. Oh my God, man, look at it. <laughs> it's sick. That man is a work of art. I love it. Even, he's even grubbied up the uh, the pots and everything, which is so cool. How do I get it out? Oh, look at that, it's such a cool case, man. It's like a bed. <laughs> that is pretty much banging tune as well. Oh, I love it. I love it. The relicking on it, I don't know if it's come out in the pictures, I'll do some close-ups, is just superb. Absolutely superb. I think Nick said that he spent like 10 hours on the, um, just on the relicking alone, right? I mean, let's get it out. Oh, my word. <gasps> Check that out. It's just an absolute work of art. Man, look at the back of it. I think the back's actually got more detail on it, on it than the front. Oh, it's insanely good. I love it. It really feels, feels like you're, you're holding an old guitar. It feels like I'm holding a vintage guitar. And, uh, and yeah, it's just a, just a baby. Nick, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I know you've spent a load of time on this, getting it, you know. The next Lush. Oh man, it plays so smoothly. I love it. I absolutely love it. So about eight months ago, I ordered this absolute masterpiece that you see from uh, Nick at Oswald Guitars. Oswald's his surname. And um, he's a lovely chap, obviously really knowledgeable about guitars. And so we chatted a little bit about the specs and things like that. And um, eight months later, here it is. Now there's some little secrets under the hood with this bad boy. I'll come to these in a second, but let's have a lesson, shall we? So I've put together a little mic board, looks a bit like that. Uh, so let's hear some tones. Wow, 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 wow,
bonus specs on this guitar that I'll talk you through now, which are just superb. For me, anyway, right? This is obviously a custom build for me, so it was to my specification. And I took a few bits and pieces off my other guitars, things that I like on those that I thought we could incorporate to this one. So the first thing was the neck profile, right? I mean, the neck on this is just lush. Um, and it's like my PRS uh, Custom 24, so it's based on that, that neck size. So it's actually a short scale neck, um, and it's, you know, fairly close to my, to my PRS. I don't know how Nick's done it, because he didn't have my PRS. So um, he's worked some wizardry there, but I love the neck, it's brilliant. The, um, uh, the finish on the neck as well, I mean, just look at that for a second, will you? Now, one of the other things that I asked for was a tremolo no fitted in the back, right? And that effectively is like a temporary block for the trem, so I could tune down and do all that sort of stuff if I want to change this to, you know, dadgad or whatever, right? Go down for Alice in Chains. No worries. Um, but what I didn't realise, and this is like me not knowing much about guitars, frankly, is that the, um, the trem is actually set up uh, to be flat to the body anyway. So um, what this means is that I can actually block off the trem completely if I don't want it to, you know, detune. But it's perfect the way it is. One of the benefit of the treble though, you do get a little bit of added sustain, I find, from these. So that's a little bonus, isn't it? One other thing, and this is cool, it's based on my Fender Tele that I've had for years and love, is the ability to bring in the uh, bridge pickup when you're using the neck pickup or the middle pickup, right? So we've got this, this little pull pot on the bottom tone control, which engages that. So hear the difference when you go from right now, if I engage the, the bridge, So it's perfect for all the sort of telly stuff. So let me run through all the clean tones. Bridge, right? Second. Oh, I love that, so punchy. Middle. Fourth position. With the bridge pick up. Neck. With bridge. And that's before I've even started mucking about with distortion, right? So a ton of tonal options. It basically means that I've got seven <laughs> kind of tones. Nick was also kind enough to video like the stages of, of this being born. So um, I'm going to do another little video on that as a sort of how, a, you know, how a relic guitar like this gets made. So um, stay tuned for that in another video soon. But for now, thanks and Nick. What can I say? Thank you, man. I massively appreciate it. Cheers, bye-bye. <laughs>